All right, you guys have got to take a look at this knife right here. This is a knife that is by Jason Knight. And let me tell you something, this is one of the most spectacular pieces that I have ever laid my hands on. The detail that that man did and just, oh, this thing is just beautiful. This grain, how he got it to actually kind of stand up, it's, oh, it's so gorgeous. Just breathtaking. So here's the question. When you receive a knife of this magnitude and you're told to make a sheath for it, what do you do? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You make a sheath that suits everybody's needs, whether they're right-handed or they're left-handed, and you make a sheath that can carry literally any direction that you want, any way that you want. But then you've got to make it completely badass. So let me show you what I've came up with. So a beast such as this knife, we've got to start with something beefy ourselves, right? So let's start with a nice beefy shoulder strap where all the adjustment is right up here. It's all hidden. Makes it a little bit more smooth. And then let's take that shoulder strap. And let's give it some custom buckles. Those custom buckles. Ben Olsen did those. Got one on the front. And then one on the back. So It's got to sit on something, right? Got to be able to support all that weight. So we finished it off with a little bit of brass on stainless. I forged up these little stainless steel plates just to kind of accent the strap a little bit. And then I also used some more of Ben Olson's work here with these custom bees. So moving on move on to the main sheath itself here so this is what we got went ahead and stuck with the brass on the stainless look and as you'll notice this thing has got a back plate here so you can carry it on the belt you can also carry this thing scout or you can carry it cross draw which other hand, whichever hand you want, it does not matter. And then on the front, I mean, this is this is just a badass knife, and I've had this dire wolf sitting in my shop for geez five years now, and I've never had anything that I really wanted or really thought, you know what, that's what it belongs on, until this knife came along. This knife came along, and I knew, man, this is this is like a warrior's blade right here. So. I had to give this thing some sort of warrior look. I think I accomplished that. So let's go in the house and let's take a more intimate look at this sheath, shall we? So the first thing that you've probably noticed about this knife is it's rather large. I mean, you're looking at 17 inches overall with a cutting edge of 11 inches. So it's not playing around. So if I wanted to make this thing where it could carry all different ways, I knew that I needed to make it modular. So the first thing is we wanted to make sure that it could carry scout. But I didn't want it to just carry right-handed. I wanted it to be able to carry left-handed as well. So as you can see, the strap unsnaps from 
both sides. And the beautiful thing about that is when you draw your blade in and out, you can always swivel this thing out of the way, and then you don't even got to worry about it ever cutting that retention strap at all. So as you can see, it takes up the entire lower back section. It is big. Now the one thing that I do not enjoy or like at all about Scout is the fact that you're blind drawing and then when you go to put it back in, you're blind. Well, this sheath is actually set up with a praying style because of the shape of the blade. So that actually makes it kind of easier when you're drawing it and in a sense makes it easier when you put it back in which is kind of nice I say that and then I'm having a hard time getting it snapped there we go so something to notice is when you're setting this up to actually ride on the hip this plate as you can see, it can lace up on this side of the sheath, or it can lace up on this side of the sheath, depending on if you're right-handed or if you're left-handed, or if you want to draw it blade out crossways, or if you want to draw it blade inwards, straight from your side. It's up to you. The uh, other thing that you'll notice is if you choose to have a storage compartment, here's what I've made for it. It's the exact same type of thing. This thing will lace up on both sides of the sheath. And who doesn't want a little dire wolf action going on there? So let me go ahead and set this up. I'm going to go ahead and keep it right-handed since I am right-handed. I'm going to go ahead and put this on and then we'll go from there. So for me, the only downside with carrying a scout, cross draw, or, you know, vertical on your, your waist or your hip or however you want to carry it is just simply the, the weight. Um, you know, if you had it attached just straight to your belt, if you didn't have like a suspender, you know, sp suspension, gosh darn, I can't talk, then it's going to be constantly trying to pull your pants down. Or if you were wearing it with a ring belt like me, then it's going to be constantly pulling out your hips. But you know what? I mean, it's it's up to you. Um, some people are going to be used to having something like that size, you know, attached to their you know their side. Um, me, I'm not necessarily that person. So my personal favorite would be to carry it on a shoulder rig, and is what I've done with this particular shoulder one. Is most of the time people have all the adjustment down here, and this time I just really wanted to show off that uh, those stainless steel forged plates that I did. To, kind of accent it a little bit you know and then when all the adjustment is done up here the straps you know they kind of tuck in and then behind each other and it just kind of looks nice uh, doesn't look so sloppy I guess you know I hope that I was able to do Jason Knight service when it came to building a rig something that was as nice as his knife you know it, it, this knife was just so beautiful i had to just i hope i did it i hope i did uh phil i hope you like this my friend um you know what just forget it i ain't no i'll never i'll never get to own something like this so you know what forget it i'm gonna i'm just gonna keep this and have fun with it straight on